My name's Pauline Egan and I am the Director of the Hygiene and Sanitation and Health Program with Water Underground. So we're here in Cappy Cap School, which is one of the schools that we've done our recent project in. So all of our schools that we're working in are some of the most vulnerable in the area of Masinga District. Uh, this one in particular, before we came to do our project, they were using this uh, uh, structure behind me for, uh, for urination and then they don't actually have a structure for, uh, for sanitation, for feces. So before the children were just going out in the open, out into the trees and then for urination coming into this structure which clearly is not very private or not very sanitary uh, and then nowhere to wash their hands. So now that they have water here, we have also developed a sanitation centre for them. So let me take you through. So we have three separate structures. The first one here is for the male students. So we have first here area for urination. So these structures are built uh, to, to accommodate multiple students at one time because the problem in the schools at the moment is many, many students go in their short break to try to use that small facility that they have been using made from local materials. So now we have a facility that's two metres wide that many male students can use for urination. And then we have two separate latrines with sanitas. And in each sanita, there is a tube that leads to an attached fossa. So it's not a pit latrine, it's actually going into a system, into a fossa. And they are able to use water now because they have a well right here. So we have buckets and jugs for them to use, to wash after using uh, the latrines. And then small amount of water flushes everything down into the fossa. So then over here we have the female student structure. So on this end, we have a room which is private for girls of menstruating age. Okay, so at the moment in all of the schools, there is no facilities for girls during menstruation. So usually they stay home completely. So we've tried to incorporate that into our model so that girls are no longer missing school. So we have a bench for sitting here, and then here is a drain, and then we have a recipient for, for rubbish, for pads, etc., and then also a bucket with water for the girls to wash and feel clean and then go back to class. Also, we have doors on every uh, section, so there is privacy for all students. So then in here, we again have another latrine with a tube that leads down into the fossa, which is just a simple pour, pour flush manual system. Another latrine in here. And then finally, here we have urination for girls. So in Mozambican culture, multiple students will use a urination structure at the same time. And girls tend to squat during urination. So we've, we've developed a a design that will allow three female students at one time to urinate during their break and then a drainage system into the fossa. Again, with a bucket to wash and, and wash away um, all the liquids down into the fossa. And then our third structure here is for the teachers. So this is a unisex structure because uh, the most important facilities are for the students. So this one is a little bit smaller for the teachers, but we still wanted to accommodate all people in the school. So we have urination for men here, urination for women in the corner there with drainage into the fossa. And then in this side, another sanita for defecation and a poor flush system. There is an attached fossa and drain underground for each structure. So this is the fossa where only uh, feces, urine and, and water will go. Uh, everything else will go into rubbish bins. So, and our final structure is our hand wash station. So we've built a hand wash station out of cement. We've used a tank and then we've uh, affixed it with some iron and then we have a simple tap here. They also have soap that they keep in the school 
uh, all of the buckets and cleaning products they have here in the school that they keep secure overnight and then put back out during the day. So this just drains down here and then we will plant a tree for all the extra agua that, uh, water that's going into the ground. So that is a summary of uh, the water underground sanitation model at the moment. We've tried to incorporate something that is is easily uh, translated into building in the community. So if people can come to the school and see what we've done here using uh, materials that are available locally, then they can take the steps to incorporate that and improve their sanitation in their homes. So we've tried to, to keep costs at uh, not too high so that people can actually consider implementing the same thing at home.